this is Megan with Engage Bay, and in this video, I'm going to introduce you to landing pages. Once you've logged into your account, you want to make sure that you are set to marketing up here, and then all you do is click on landing pages. Any that you have already built will show up here. Otherwise, you can click on create landing page. You'll see from here you have three different options. You can start with a blank template, which means you'll have to build everything yourself using our builder. You can choose from one of our many beautiful pre-made templates. We have all kinds for all industries and sorts of businesses, or you can code your own, which is going to give you a lot of freedom, but it also means you need some experience with coding and HTML. Totally up to you. In this video, we're going to focus on themes and we're gonna start with one of the pre-made templates. Let's say, as a fictitious example, we've built a fitness app and we want to create a landing page to get people to sign up for that app. You'll see here that we have a template right here that is perfect for us, so I'm going to click on choose and we'll let this load. From a design aspect, it's already done. We already did all the heavy lifting for you. At this point, it would come down to you plugging in your own content, your own text, and from there, any aesthetic changes you want to make, you could, but you don't have to. Um, if you want to swap out this picture for another one or one of your own, you can. If you want to leave that one in there, you can. Let's say as an example, we scroll to the bottom here, and this template includes three, uh, three tiers of pricing, and we need to change these prices. All you do when, whenever you want to change text is click on the box, delete what's in there, and put what you want. Let's say that our pretend app has a free tier. Let's say the next tier is $10 a month. And then let's say that the most expensive is $19 a month. You'll see that when you click on a box, uh, you have kind of a standard editor up here if you wanted to change, let's say, the text color. Uh, from there, if you want even more options, you would go to the right of your screen. Let's say around the price, we want to add a border. We have an option to do that. Um, here, it's set to zero pixels, which means there is no border. But I would just change this to however thick I want that border to be. Uh, maybe I want it to be dashed. And then I'm going to change the color to blue. And it is that simple. If there's ever a uh, block or an element you want to delete, all you do is click on it and you'll see the little trash can icon. Click on that. Are you sure? Delete. And that's it. It's gone. So as I said, a lot of the grunt work is already done for you, but keep in mind you can still customize this as much as you want. If you want to add in additional elements, additional blocks, all you do is go over here on the left where it says blocks and you'll see that you can still, you know, customize this as much as you want, as drastically as you want. Uh, you can filter these. Let's say you want to put in a video. All you do is select from our options of videos and you'll see here as of right now we have two options. All you're going to do is drag and drop it and then you're going to put in your video. Let's say we want to add uh, testimonials. We have a number of options here. Uh, this is perfect if you want like a block quote, drag and drop. Um, so I'm gonna save this and we'll just call it fitness app. And then real quick, I wanna show you what the blank template looks like. We'll go back here, create. And again, we're looking at blank template don't be alarmed, but you're starting from scratch. You're starting fresh. This gives you all the freedom in the world to be as creative as you want. You're going to want to start over here on the left where it says content and blocks. You need to create blocks so that you can add things to your landing page. And you'll see here it says no section here. We need to add one. So we're going to click on blocks. And let's say we want to start with a header. So we can filter these by header and choose from any one of these. Uh, let's say I, I wanna use this one. So I'm just going to drag and drop where it says drop it here. And then I would customize this with my logo. 
and whatever I want this navigation to say, my phone number, if I want to have it in there, and then I, I would link these to my social channels. Let's keep going. Uh, we want to keep adding blocks. Let's say right there, right above the fold, I want to have a video of one of our users sharing their experience about our fitness app. I'll go back to blocks. And again, because this is a video, I'm going to filter by videos. And I'll go with this one. We're going to drag and drop it to where it says drop it here. And that's it. I would customize this text. Maybe I say praise for our app. I would add a little blurb here and then I would just put in the video. And you would keep doing that until you've built the landing page that you want. Um, some of the options you have here, uh, your social channels. So if you wanna add the uh, links, the icons anywhere else, you can. Uh, what else we have here? The footer at the end of the landing page, testimonials, these are going to look mostly like uh, block quotes. Pricing, we saw this in the pre-made template that we played with. Content is more for specific elements within a block. So if you wanted to add another heading, you could drag and drop this. And you would obviously want to move it to where you wanted it, but if you wanted another heading, that's how you would do it. Um, if you wanted to add more text, you could do that. Uh, dividers, buttons, icons. You have all sorts of options here. If you want to get something up and running really quick and you want it more done for you, go for a pre-made template. If you love the idea of uh, starting from scratch and building it exactly how you want, start with a blank canvas. Either one works and either way you can create a beautiful landing page that converts. That'll do it for this video. See you next time.